Have you ever wished you could disappear? It is a power that used to belong only to superheroes, wizards, and evil villains. But scientists really are working on ways to make you invisible, too. Here's NBC's Michelle Kaczynski. Well, let's see them. Put it on. Whoa! Harry Potter could do it. That's an invisibility cloak. So we get to. Those pesky Romulans could do it. There, that distortion. See it? Yes, sir. Place it in our two-dimensional scattering chamber. And now, mild-mannered scientists at Duke University have also created a cloak of invisibility. If you were standing over here, you would see what's coming from the other side. And if you were standing here, you wouldn't see any reflection back off that object. Well, kind of. They created this material made up of circuits and copper that deflects waves around it. Microwave absorber. But for now, it's only invisible to microwaves, not the light spectrum that we see. These microwaves can be routed around the object and then restored on the other side, so it's as if they had traveled through free space. In layman's terms... It's very cool. Scientists say think of it this way. It creates the effect of water moving around rocks in a stream. It just smoothly passes around them and then reconnects on the other side as if there were never anything there blocking its path. Well, it's not perfect yet. It does create some shadow and reflection, like the camouflage used by aliens in the movie Predator. Still, the stunning new technology could soon be translated into other wavelengths. The military could use it to make planes invisible to radar. Or buildings could be cloaked to let cell phone signals flow right around them. And scientists say now, in theory, it is possible to do this with visible light waves as well, someday. Michelle, are you there? For all those times when you absolutely, positively have to be Michelle. invisible. Michelle? For today, Michelle Kosinski, NBC News, Atlanta.